the first thing I'm going to do is edit a formula. So select cell C7 and click in the formula bar. C7 is this guy and the formula bar is up top. Um, you'll see right now that in this cell I am adding up C2, C3, C4, C5. I want to add in C6 to that list. So up here, I'm just going to type plus C6 and press enter. And that should update my new total four points. Then I'm going to start a formula for total assist. So we'll click in cell D7 and I'm going to type equals and I want to add D2, D3, D4, D5, and D6 together. Um, you'll notice that it popped up as a suggestion for me, so I'm just going to click on that suggestion, but if you don't see that, you might have to type in all those cells. Press enter, and then we want to bold the total assist, so we know how to do that. Up in our bar, you might have to click more, find the symbol for bold. Next, we'll start a formula for total rebounds and bold that in cell E7. So exact same process. We want this equal to all the cells above it, add it up, and it pops up as a suggestion for me. So I'm going to click that. You might have to type E2 plus E3 plus E4 plus E5 plus E6. Press enter, and then we're going to make it bold. Next, I want to create a points per game column. So in cell F1, we're going to enter the title, points per game. Uh, and I want to change the formatting just so it matches my other columns. So we'll go see what's going on in these other columns. Um, that's Calibri 11 bold in that color. So we'll do the same thing over here. You could have also copied and pasted the formatting, but if it's just one cell, then sometimes it's easier just to do it individually. Oh, and that is centered too. And it's 12. There we go, now it matches. Then I'm going to enter the points per game for Aaron using what's called point and click. So we're going to put a formula in but rather than typing out the entire formula, we're going to select the cells that we want. And it'll kind of make more sense when we do it. This column is supposed to be the points per game. So to find his points per game, we would take the number of points we have and divide it by the number of games that he played. So then in my points per game box, the formula is going to be equals the point cell. So I'm just going to click on C2 and notice it automatically puts it in there for me, divided by the number of games he played. Press enter and we'll see that his points per game is six. And then we're going to do this for every other player. So points divided by games. Press enter equals points divided by games. Press enter. And you'll notice that once you start to do something a bunch of times, uh, Google Sheets will realize that and it will suggest it to you. So I've got a suggestion there. And when I press enter, I've got a suggestion there too. Um, and then the last thing we have to do is enter the total points per game in cell F7. 
So F7 is actually the cell I have highlighted right now. We'll do equal to, and I want to add up all the cells above it. So that'd be F2, F3, F4, F5, and F6. Notice that that's a suggestion. So I'm going to click on that. If your suggestion didn't pop up, you would have to type in this formula that you see up in my formula bar. Press enter. And then it doesn't say to, but I'm going to make that bold so that it matches the rest of my table.